the power of divine help. The account of John 21 tells of Peter returning to his old trade. He informs the disciple that he's going fishing and unanimously they agree to join him. The Bible says they toiled all night and caught nothing. In the morning, weary and without spoil, Jesus appeared to them although they did not recognize him. He asked, little children, do you have any food? Their reply was no. He instructed them to cast their nets on the right side of the boat. They did, and the vast number of fish caught made it difficult to handle. There are times when your net is correct. It is strong and it has no holes. There are times when your location is correct. You're by the sea. You have the proper tools. You have a boat and you're a skilled fisherman, but you have no catch. There are no fish to be caught. That's when you need the power of the paracletus to work on your behalf to help your infirmities, to help your weaknesses. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, I declare and I declare by the God of the heavens uh, who help men uh, and by the power of the Holy Spirit uh, who brings about unusual occurrences in the existence of people. I prophesy over your lives uh, before the year ends. Uh, people will not be able to recognize the you of 2023 uh, compared to the you of 2022 uh, because of the power and the presence of God in your life. Uh, you will excel. Uh, you will abound. Uh, you will be picked out and picked upon to be prospered. God will bow the heavens and the Holy Spirit will step into your life with help you have never experienced before. He will override and overrule your limitations. He will strengthen you like he did Samson. You will slay formidable foes like David. You will receive unparalleled and unprecedented favor like Mary. He will bring promotion to your life like Joseph. He will bring you before kings like Esther. He will break patterns, policies, and protocols for you like he did Deborah. He will speak well of you like he did Nathaniel. He will heal you like he did uh, the woman with the issue of blood. Uh, you will have a transformational encounter with him uh, like Saul on the road to Damascus. Uh, he will lead you through every Red Sea like he did the children of Israel. Uh, he will show up for you as a military might uh, to defend and rescue you as he did Jehoshaphat. Uh, he will be the fourth man in the fire as he was with the Hebrew boys. Uh, I call upon the God who walked and water. May he gather your flood water so it doesn't overtake you. May you become as strong as the cedar of Lebanon. May he hide you in his secret place so the enemy will search for you but not find you. May he make your enemies your footstool. May your barrenness give birth to Isaac and may you remain in perpetual laughter. May he cause you to abound in all good works. May he reveal to you the deep truth of God. May he call you friend as he did Abraham and may he be well pleased with you as he was with Jesus. I decree it in the name of the Father. I decree it in the name of the Son and I decree it in the name of the Holy Spirit. I stand on the very integrity of God's word that I've been given power to bind and power to loose, power to decree and power to declare. And by kingdom authority, I release these blessings in your life. Receive it by faith. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. I love you. Go forth and thrive.